Bush goes back to back, the showman subs for Mr. Popular, and Kenseth gobbles up the catch of the day. Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Bush in the Fan and Media Engagement Center, and this is the Rearview Mirror. And guess what? Kyle Bush started on the pole in the Auto Lotto 200 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, and living up to his moniker as the greatest driver of our generation, he dominated. That's now back-to-back -back wins in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for Kyle Busch. And if you look closely, you can see the surprise in my face. And now, the word of the week. We'll have a substitute driver. We'll substitute the substitute driver. Who is a substitute driver? You have been a substitute driver. Hey, that guy did pretty good substituting. Jeff Gordon will actually sub for him. Super sub? This is the ultimate of <laughs> super sub. As far as substituting for the most popular driver in NASCAR, Alex Bowman is subbing for him. The big news of the weekend was that Dale Earnhardt Jr. would have to sit out the race due to concussion-like symptoms. That meant that Hendrick Motorsports would need to go to a substitute and not somebody that looks like me with elbow patches. Enter Bowman the Showman. Alex Bowman got the call and was doing a great job filling in until late in the race when a cut tire ended his chances for a top 10 finish. With no timetable for Dale's return, I wonder who Hendrick could get if Dale can't go next week at Indy. If Dale is not able to go in Indianapolis, we will put Jeff Gordon in the car. Wait, what? You can't just casually drop that kind of knowledge on us. Is that for sure? That's for sure. Well, there you have it. Gordon could be back next week. We shall see. But as for this weekend, there was a giant lobster on the line, and that meant the stakes were just a little bit higher. Jimmy Johnson started up front, but the Joe Gibbs racing drivers and affiliates dominated the race. A pair of late race cautions shuffled up the field, but in the end, the JGR power was just too much, and Matt Kenseth was the lucky Gibbs driver to earn the victory. While Kenseth was happy to earn the lobster, one guy seemed just a little bit more eager to get his hands on it. Can we take this to NASCAR America as a trophy? You can do it every while. Look at Look a blink every time you, you yeah. pet it. Somebody needs to get that guy a pet. Or maybe a seafood platter. That'll do it for this week's episode of the Rearview Mirror. Be sure to check back next week as we relive the beauty of the Brickyard. <laughs>